Are you plain bored of woodworking? Get excited again with Fish Eyes Make Your Own Sandpaper Kit. Fish Eyes Sandpaper Kit comes with everything you see here. Just pick your paper, spread the glue, and shake on the sand. Voila! Beautiful handcrafted sandpaper! And if you act now, we'll include candy sprinkles absolutely free. What better way to say I love you than with a gift of sandpaper? Fish Eyes Make Your Own Sandpaper Kit is just $19.99 wherever crappy gifts are sold. We are broadcasting to you from the Crystal Gondola in the palatial main studios of Brant Aerials in the beautiful Fairfield Plain on the outskirts of Burford, Ontario in Brant County, Canada, for the education, elucidation, emancipation, enlightenment and mental emolument of the Hoi Polloi. Keeping in touch, here's your host Gary Foster. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of In Touch. It's April the 11th, just uh, back from um, the South Florida drone meetup where I got real good sunburn on my nose. It's healed up. The, the sunburn across the top of my head, not so much, but, you know, we're getting there. Um, <laughs> advice for Canadians, right? If you're lily white and you've been inside all winter, don't rent a convertible. <laughs> the wind burn and the sunburn is going to peel your skin right off. <laughs> Without further ado, I have a substitute co-host. Jim Beauchard has just arrived in Virginia, so he can't be on. But look who's with us today. Scott Another Brown. clown. How you doing? <laughs> good, good. Another clown. <laughs> Another clown. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm so pleased to see uh the flag on the on the uh, on the wall there. Um, that was that that flag flew at my house from Canada Day, which was July first, twenty twenty three, until New Year's Day, twenty four. So it's a little bit tattered, but uh, you know it's. <laughs> well, that will get moved to my new office, and it will be hanging on a wall in there. So that's uh, that's right. the plan. Yeah. Hey, John, how are you doing? I see uh, un unlimited. It's to me still unlimited vertical. I, yeah. I okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. John. Uh, John's been with us on one of our meetups. Jerry Bauer is in here. Uh, another Canadian, Akirasho. Uh, I didn't. I was expecting to see Warren at the meetup, and any familiar, any unfamiliar face that I saw that didn't have a name tag, I approached them and said, "Are you Warren?" <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people thought I was a little bit crazy, you know. Um, <laughs> Mike Hill, another Canadian. Arrow Snappers here. Drone Shots. Jody from Michigan. Uh, who else we got? Scott, you're here. Dustin. Drone here. Rob. Drone what? Rob's here. And Jody's here. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, One Vision Ariel. Uh, Dustin's here. He uh, yeah. he just got his wrench. He, he was awarded the wrench today. Ray Kelly was in earlier. I don't know if he's still around, but uh, but uh, no, we got we got a good crowd. Mudball's probably disappointed because Jim's not here, so it's me <laughs> instead. So <laughs> good stuff. So how was your trip back from Florida? Man, it was uh, excellent. The weather was unbelievable. Was it not all weekend? I mean, it really was. Oh, it was fabulous. Yeah, really uh, good. Really good. Uh, we we got a uh, torrential rain on Wednesday, and then after that, it was clear. And not only that, it was cooler too. I don't know if you got hot, but uh, it wasn't near as hot as it normally gets down here. So, well, it, it was, was a lot better. It was um, twenty four Celsius when we got back to Toronto, and twenty four Celsius is what about seventy six or seventy eight Fahrenheit? Really? So 
it was it was summertime when we got here. You know, it was it so was. You, you almost had the same weather, did you not? Yeah, and then it clouded yeah. over and got cold today. So, you know, now it's now it's more now it's more Canadian weather. You know, so. and, and and really we didn't have a problem with the wind either. I mean, it. Uh, I mean, we had a breeze, but it wasn't a gale force wind. So. No, no, I flew at I flew the in the in the formation of twenty seven. Did you on the Saturday? I, I wasn't that brave. <laughs> I stayed. Well, matter of fact, I stayed underneath the pavilion. I didn't even go out. <laughs> well, I, I uh, to be honest, I was about uh, twenty feet out and thirty feet up, <laughs> and keeping a real so, close. So, Gary, tell me how it really was. Was it chaos? Because, okay, I can. It to me, it seems simple for everybody getting position to get there. But how about leaving? I mean. Did everybody bail out in a in a good manner, or was it again? You know, I was close enough that I could see everything that was going on around me, and I just came right in and I hand landed, and it was done. I just stuck it back in the bag, and that was that was good enough for for there. And then on on uh, Sunday, well, you know, there wasn't a lot of drones in the air at the same time. You know, you know, I'd be Did flying. You to, were you there at the the Bose uh, Park? <laughs> At Dolman Beach, yeah. Dolman, yeah, Dolman Beach, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you were there. Yeah. I mean, I was there too, but, uh, you know, that's the thing. There's so many people and so many things going on. Uh, oh, I've got I've got video of you walking around. I haven't edited any <laughs> of it yet, but, uh, you know, I flew over the crowd. No, I'm sorry, not over the crowd. I flew next to the crowd <laughs> <laughs> a whole bunch of times. You know, we have to have to uh, – have to edit that out so <laughs> anything illegal doesn't get shown right oh absolutely not yeah what happens in florida stays in florida but uh but yeah we had uh <laughs> we had an exciting time coming back we we stayed right near the airport the night before we we're a four minute drive from the car rental return so we pull in we return the car Major, this time we got everything out of the car. We didn't leave any of our clothes in the car like we did last year. Um, got out of the car, got the shuttle over to Terminal 4. So we get to Terminal 4, and we ask there, and they say, oh, no, 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 you got to go to Terminal 3. So we go to Terminal 3. We walk from one end of Terminal 4 to the other end of Terminal 4, and then walk over to Terminal 3, walk the length of Terminal 3, and no sign of our airline. So we ask a guy that's standing there, a security guy, and so where do we check in for Flair Airlines? And he, he points, he says, right over there. And the, the two blank signs, right? So there's some people standing in that line. So we st stood in line with them. And and uh, they said, you know, I, I said, are you waiting for Flair? And they went, yeah, yeah, we're waiting for Flair Airlines. And I said, okay. Well, I said to Vicky, I said, let's just go outside. And I can have a smoke and, you know, we can come back in when they show up. We can see through the window, right? So we're outside talking and and uh, I turn around and there's nobody nobody in that lineup. So we go back in and we join the lineup that we were in in the first place. Wait around for, oh, 15 or 20 minutes. And finally, I see somebody with a, with a Flair Airlines tag. And I said, is this where we check in? And she says, oh, no, 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 not here. It's Terminal 4. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So we walk the length of Terminal 3 again. We walk over to Terminal 4. We get in Terminal 4. We walk the entire length. And the last one is Flair Airlines. So we get there and we check our bag. We get our boarding passes. And I say, okay, so now where do we go? Oh, Boarding is at Terminal 3. What? Yeah. So now we walk the length of Terminal 4 again, go over to Terminal 3, walk the length of Terminal 3, and now we've got TSA to deal with. And uh, <laughs> it was just, you know, back and forth and back and forth. And this is after, after we had already lost a flight well, we've lost two flights by that point because when we went to check in in Kitchener, Waterloo, the flight, there was nobody at the gate. 
because we were three minutes late getting to the gate. They wouldn't let us on the plane. And then the plane was 20 minutes late. So, so that's why you missed going was just because they'd already closed the gate and they wouldn't let you in. Yeah. So then we drove an hour and a half to Toronto and booked another flight from Toronto to Fort Lauderdale. Well, okay, we get to Fort Lauderdale and we thought, well, how are we going to get our car back if we fly back to <laughs> Kitchener on the tickets that we've bought? Right. You see, you see what John put there? <laughs> no. Fairness. Flairness Airlines is a subsidiary <laughs> for uh, Weight Watchers. <laughs> I'll tell you, before I got on the plane, I had closed my, subsidiary. I had closed the uh, the fitness ring. <laughs> <laughs> I had had my, my daily exercise was done. So, yeah, Ric Flair Airline. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> man, I wish I had the logo. Uh, you know, you talk about cheap. Everything on that flight is cheap except that you have to book it twice. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, we finally got on the plane. The plane landed. Once we were in Toronto and cleared customs, everything was, was smooth as could be. The luggage was there. Um, we got the, 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 the shuttle to the car. And, you know, we get to the car place, and I said, you know, here's my, here's my ticket, you know. Oh, geez, you're early. I'm really sorry, but it's going to take us five or 10 minutes to get your car. <laughs> That's wow. nothing. You know, we were, yeah, really. we were three hours at the airport in, in, in uh, Fort Lauderdale just to get on the plane. But uh, yeah. So how, oh, Fort, so you went in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. That's a pretty small uh, airport. Is it not? Well, they got four terminals. <laughs> okay. That's that Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood. eh? You've been to Atlanta, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not as big as yeah. Atlanta or Orlando, you know, um, but it's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. It's even bigger than Toronto, which, you know, Toronto's pretty big. But, yeah, seat belts are $5 extra, and it's uh, $7 to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they charge you. an outhouse? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have to walk out on the wing and pee off the wing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you know we 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 got through it, and uh, I think next year next year I just might just take the car, just a little less stress, right? You can. Oh really? Well, yeah. yeah. Are you going? Are you going to talk to Bo Shart and see how it was? Yeah. <laughs> I bet he's got saddle sores right now. Well, he's. When I talked to them about oh, about an hour ago, they were just getting into Virginia. So, um, you know, and Beauchard says to me, he says, you know what's better than being deep in the heart of Texas? Being six inches into Virginia. It's okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> so how many hours was the drive for him? Did you hear? I, I didn't hear. Uh, I think... I think it was going to be 22 hours altogether. Wow. So, yeah. Because he, he went to Virginia and rode in with Brad or followed Brad in, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And Vicki and I drove to Florida one time and we drove straight through, just switching, oh. switching drivers. And we made it to Lakeland, Florida from our house. This actually, this house in, uh, I think it was in 92. She had a brand new Suzuki sidekick. So a little wee tiny sidekick, right? Remember the, mm. little, the little wee? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were 24 hours door to door. Wow. So that included. I heard about your, I heard about your spring break event. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, I, I did uh, Florida and back in a long weekend with a bunch of guys in a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> We uh, drove down to Daytona Beach, put our feet in the water, got back in the car, and headed home. <laughs> wow! Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was that. I was uh, I was about fifty four years younger then. <laughs> so did did John do the same thing? So twenty two hours. That's pretty good. It seemed to remember taking thirty by oh by thirty by bus. Okay. High school spring break, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no way to go. Yeah, the bus would be a little slower than uh, 
yeah. than a car. And uh, and a bunch of high school kids in a bus would have to have about a pee break every 20 minutes, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, hey, if anybody wants to join us, the um, the link is pinned in the chat. Ooh, I'm turning the heat down. Um, yeah, we got back to Canada. It was, what did I say, about 76, 78 degrees. So it was like we never left Florida, you know. It was. <laughs> yeah, because that's pretty much what our average temperature was. Uh, I guess we might have got up to 80 or something. but yeah. But it was like 50 degrees in the morning, which is unheard of for us at this time of the year so <laughs> well yeah. we went on the fishing trip on monday did you really yeah i caught nothing they were taking my bait but they weren't taking the hook and um, vicky hooked one and threw it back and uh, most of the trip um uh, jordy Beauchart and i and jj grant were inside the cabin throwing up <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were chumming the fish huh oh geez it was nasty um actually i don't think jordy or i actually threw up but i think there's a a video that uh, ray took and he asked uh he asked jj what he thought of the trip and his answer was just kill me <laughs> <laughs> and there was another guy there with a bucket and he had his head in the bucket the whole time so there wasn't wow. there wasn't much left to him but it was a it was a really good time there's a, just i can't stress to people who didn't make it how how much fun it is to meet everybody in this community yeah you was, know I, I enjoy meeting ronnie he, he was a uh... yeah yeah. Right. Super. Him and his wife were super nice. They were yep. incredibly nice. Yeah. And um, Herman and Lawrence. Yep. Spent a lot yeah, of you time. Didn't get, I got to meet them two years ago, uh, last time they were here. So. Yeah. They weren't there last year. So, right. So, right. we got to meet them this year. And, of course, um, Mark Fisher. Mark Fisher was there. Yeah. You, that's your first time meeting him, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that guy's full of energy, eh? I'm telling you what, he's a nut and a half. So. <laughs> <laughs> he is crazy <laughs> he, yeah and uh, and dan was there dan i fixed yeah, that guy yeah he, he was well for me it's a uh, drone worship that's what his name yes. used to be yeah yeah and uh, yeah yeah so yeah so yeah he was uh he was surprisingly nice too you know I yeah think he, he really is a nice guy why he wants to poke the bear i don't know, I don't know. I, I, again there's this group that <laughs> You know, if you're going to get views, oh, you got to be dramatic and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's, and look, he at one time used to get a lot of views and it's not that way anymore. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was telling me that the drone community is dead, but you know, he shows up and there's a hundred people there, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so we're, yeah. you know, we're alive and, and kicking and doing well, you know, <laughs> but uh, no, it was, it was, uh, it was memorable. It was a good time. Uh, yeah, we really we went out we went out with uh, Alex Escardo and uh, uh, Rodney Bell and uh, Kevin Tolley and his wife and Philip Koshat. No, no, I spent a lot of time with Koshat. I spent a lot uh, of time with the Shat and the Shart. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Philip. Uh, not sure who you're referring to. Philip Chura. Phil Chura. Oh, yeah. he, I could yeah. never say his name. He finally said, he told me church is what he was trying to tell me to say his name. So I don't, Churif, I guess is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we got somebody in the waiting room. I'm oh, cool. Somebody who didn't come. Hey there. Oh, is this, is this I, only for South Florida drone meetup people? No, we, no, I wanna, hear, we want to hear about the eclipse. That's oh, what yeah. I wanted to do. You don't want to hear about the eclipse. Yeah, we do. How was it? It was worth. It was worth it. Oh, uh, I, I don't. I don't have much uh, as far as footage to show. No, I did put the drone up. You can't see the shadow come in and then leave. I got that. Yeah, but it was mainly about experiencing the eclipse, not documenting it. Yeah, yeah. We got. So you uh, had we got the. 
Clip's experience on FaceTime. My daughter was here at the house, out in the yard, out in the yard and everything just went black, you know? It's, yeah, it's not... I. And the thing is, I, like I was talking about earlier today, it's not uh, just seeing the eclipse. It's experiencing the eclipse with people. It's amazing how many people came from all over the country. We met, we met a lady from Australia. Really? Who had come, she had flown in to LA and then taken a train up to Oregon and bought a van. And this is the second time she's done this. And then she's just traveling the United States. Well, she didn't know about, she wasn't really paying attention to anything about it. She didn't know anything about the eclipse, but she showed up where we were at. She didn't have glasses, but I had an extra pair. And so she got to hang out with us. There's a mother and father from Kansas city. They just happened to be down in the area and had timed it to coincide with some spring planting festival at Baker Seed. Seed. Baker Street Seed Company. Okay. And so it's just a core group of us got together. And then by the end, there was about 20 people or so that were in the place that we had picked. Mm -hmm. And uh, just this little group of people that came together for a little bit to experience something, a once in a lifetime thing, and then scatter off to the winds. It was really kind of cool. It kind of makes you realize how kind of tribal we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, breaking news: Barkley and Jenna are are planning on going to be to Spain in twenty six for the full eclipse. Yep, that's oh, the next really? one. That's the next one is in twenty twenty six. Yeah, and it'll be going through Spain, Madrid, and then into the where was it? Was it Greenland? I don't remember. But. He said they've already booked a place and uh, they plan on going to, to experience it there. I probably wouldn't make that long of a trip to just to experience it, but to tie it in with another trip, absolutely. If, yeah. if you want to travel anyway, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, it well, came. Through, I think it came through here in Niagara Falls. And Niagara Falls declared a state of emergency because of all the traffic coming through. Uh, traffic was pretty busy where we were at too. Yeah, so where did you go? I ended up going to a uh, place, Mountain View, Missouri. Okay. So I didn't go all the way into the complete dead center of the totality, which would have been another hour drive. Yeah. My wife and I decided, you know, that's an hour both ways. That's two more hours of driving Yeah. that we'd have to deal with. And so we uh, figured, okay, totality is totality. We'll be in the shadows, so. though. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, good night. And it's just so weird. Just taking off your glasses and looking up, and it looks like something out of a science fiction movie. Really? Seeing, the, seeing that uh, corona around the uh, sun. Yeah. You got to see the diamond ring, too. and. Yep. Yeah, It. It. the weather cleared up for us. Just beautiful. Oh, good. And I had a... Uh, we thought about being in town... Uh, and just pulling over to a parking lot, and instead I I found a place. It was a fire watchtower that was outside of town a little bit, and we went out there. And I got up my phone. I've got a sun tracker for doing like sunset shots and and stuff for tracking where the sun is going to set, so you can frame up your shot before the sunset happened. And so I tracked the sun and and found out sun and moon. And okay, the eclipse is going to be right here in this little break in the trees. It's going to be perfect. And so. Was it right? Yep. So let's see. When you have the eclipse, that's the only time the sun rises on the west side. And the sun doesn't rise on the west side. Well, I thought when when it's being exposed again, you're seeing it from the west first. Yes, yeah, so the light does come back in from the west. Right. Okay. But I've got drone footage of being up in the air and you can always see the horizon because the light is coming down outside that cone of, of the shadow mm -hmm. coming down and scattering so it's lit outside that area so you can see the horizon still lit so it's oh, almost wow. it's almost like dusk out there but where you're at it's nighttime and you can see stars and it is that's why it's so bizarre it is like it is not like dusk it's not like sunrise it is a different thing Wow! Do you have you have footage of that? So are you going to share that? Of what? 
Uh, uh, you said you put the drone up, and uh -huh. then you're. So oh, sure. was it able to capture that? It was able to capture the shadow. Yes. Cool. So are you going to post that so we can all see it? Eventually, yeah. Okay. I, I'm writing. I'm writing a script right now. I'm not just going to post just raw footage. So I, I'm. Well, I wait a minute. Is, is Mudball going to do it, or are you going to do it? I mean, is uh, oh, what's his name? Fish eye. <laughs> Sock. Fish eye. All right. All right, Scott. If you give me shit, you you better know what you're talking about before you give me shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have the time. So. It, it makes those quips so much snappier. I have no <laughs> idea who Fish Eye is. He's in a box somewhere. I think he lives out by the highway. I haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> it, he moved out. He's in a box somewhere. Um, Warren Akarasho, um, he, he lost his ear to us that day. Uh -oh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He was oh, I hadn't uh, heard that. right in the middle of the totality. He lost his air to us. He, he, you know, you lose, you lose obstacle avoidance, you lose sight of the drone and and he went, you know, so. You shouldn't lose sight of the drone. The drone should be uh, within visual line of sight. You should be taking precautions so that you can still look up and see the drone. You should have anti-collision lights on the drone so you can see it. Yeah. That's what uh, I did. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I got one. Is that thing ever bright? I won, yeah. I won this at the at the meetup. Yeah, is that what it which one is that? It's the start RC strobe light. Yeah, that's what I had. I yeah. I've got Man. the firehouse. Now, I turned it on in the room and I couldn't see for about an hour. Yeah. Because I I had these little ones and they were bright enough. But the start RC ones are just unbelievable. So he put his drone up in the totality? Yep. And lost it. Yep. Well, I think he put it up before the totality and then, mm -hmm. and then lost. It, you know, Warren, if you want to come on, the link's in the chat. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Huh? Come yeah. tell us a story. Yeah, hop in and tell a story. You've got an Eclipse story that... Is probably more exciting than mine because I didn't lose anything. Yeah. I, wait, I take that back. I put it, the drone on a partial battery, and I thought, man, I'll be able to just hop up there. I just want to get framed out early on, yeah. just kind of see what the shot was going to look like. And it was a bit breezy, and it said, "Warning, low battery." And, and so I started bringing it back. Well, we were out in the woods, and I got turned around and started flying the wrong direction. I'm looking up, and then I lost it because I flew over the tree. I flew the wrong direction. So now I'm out of visual line of sight because I'm over the tree. I'm like, well, crap. Low battery warning. Low battery warning. So I just dropped the camera down and got like a 45-degree angle, found the road, flew over to the road, landed in the ditch. Oh, maybe 100 yards from me at most. <laughs> but it's like my wife's like, did you lose the drone? I go, no, it's over there. <laughs> I just got to go walk for it. I saw a cartoon was the Muppets, uh, you know, Stadler and Waldorf, the two old uh -huh. men sitting up in the balcony. They said they, they heckled the moon till it moved out of the way. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you see, that's not Akarasha's fault. He was up in the middle of the day and, and the, uh, <laughs> And the eclipse happened. He didn't know there was an eclipse going to happen. Oh, he didn't know. It, it surprised him. I got you. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, he was like an aborigine that didn't know anything. He was like a yeah. That's, that's the ticket. He just happened to be up there, and the and the light went out. And a dragon came and ate the sun. Yes, <laughs> yes. So there you go. So it wasn't his fault after all. <laughs> oh man, where are my? <laughs> Oh, and poor John! John forgot to, forgot to bring his drones, his cameras, <laughs> or is that well, filter for his Nikon? Oh that, man, that's the thing. I I did get some. I got some time lapse with my E2I coming across. I did not get. Everybody's posting these beautiful pictures of the Corona. I didn't get yeah. pictures of the Corona because I got so mesmerized by watching it. I didn't go over and take the lens. The ND filter off my camera to get that other shot. So I've got 
the shot of the sun, you can see the sun spots and everything in the eclipse or in the sun as the moon's coming over it. And I've got that all the way, almost to totality. Wow. And then I was mesmerized. Really? Yeah. I yeah. Guess. I guess. I see um, Dewey UAVP has joined us in the chat and there's a, uh, there's Johnny Drone Flyer and Lawrence is here from Novice Quads and uh, who oh, I saw somebody else just oh um, Brett Lambo Drive Zambo is with us too so so yeah, when the light yeah, came I, back it came pretty quick didn't it Don do what when the light came back it came back pretty quick did it not yeah yeah once once you start seeing the Bailey's beads you put those glasses back on and. That's the thing. When you got just a, a sliver of the sun, it's still a ton. It's plenty to see by. That little sliver is what, like, it feels like still twilight, where you get that glow. That so it's still plenty of light enough to see around and and stuff. That's yeah. what it feels like. You just have a sliver of the sun. Yeah. I, I did get to see, see the shadow snakes as well. I got to see those. The who? The shadow snakes. Uh, when you have a sliver of the sun, yeah. when it first. When it first disappears, uh, that would be C2, and then at C3, where it comes back out, you have a vertical slice of the sun. Okay. And that vertical slice comes down and gets disturbed by the atmosphere. So where it, when it's disturbed by the atmosphere, it, it waves a little bit, right? Okay. The light yeah. does? Yeah. So if you look down the ground, you have what are described as shadow snakes. They're not really shadow snakes, but they're like where the light is being kind of bent and refracted. Yeah. Kind of like the bottom of a swimming pool. Or kind of like the kind of like the mirage on the horizon on the road where everything yeah. kind of shimmers, eh? Yeah, and you and you, and you have to look at a, a flat colored area to see it, and it's just a very subtle. You can't catch it with the camera, even I don't think. Yeah. But a little shimmering of the light, and it looks like it just rows and rows of snakes lined up wiggling at the same time. Oh, cool! Yeah. So that was kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I see. Uh, Akira shows a dog acting normal. I was just wondering if he acted normal during the eclipse. What, what is what is normal for Warren? I don't know. I mean, we was, have to have a study. He was jumping up and down looking for his drone. I wonder. I wonder if he found it. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe Warren will come on and tell us. Yeah, I know. Come on, Warren. There's the link right there. We're curious. Let me just. What happens if I do this? There you go. There's the link, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jim Beauchart. <laughs> Jordy. Jordy is uh, peeing. <laughs> Jim much oh, man. So. Yeah, so you were saying you, you found the uh, whole uh, experience in Florida was tiring, eh, Scott? You were tired when you were there? Or? Oh, I don't know what it was. I mean, I'm tired now still. I'm not sure what it is. It's uh, But, you know, the adrenaline's running. So, I mean, you're go, go, go all the time. Yeah. But then when you get a lull, that's when it's like, oh, man. Yeah, yeah but you, did, you didn't want to go to sleep or anything like that. You know, it's like you might miss something. So Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you go to the rum tasting on uh, Friday No, night? but I was there when it began. <laughs> rum tasting? No one told me there was going to be a rum tasting. They just uh -oh. said drunk. Some Canadian brought a bunch of rum and was sharing with everyone. <laughs> I, brought a, I brought a, a big 40-pounder of uh, Havana Club rum down. He and, didn't take uh, it home. He didn't take it back full I didn't take it back at all. It was empty. Yeah, <laughs> they they drained that bottle in about an hour. Um, I think I think Lawrence helped lime, you, didn't he? You're good. Yeah, Vicky went and bought three limes and cut them all up. She's my Swiss Army knife. Cut the. We had a we had a cup full of limes and I bought a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of Coke. And uh, oh look, there's some there's somebody. How do I get them in there? There you are. Lambo. Hey, hey Brett. Brett. Buddy. Oh, Some he's, he's, you're eclipsing. Yes. <laughs> if you get right on the edge of the thing, you can see snakes on the on the front seat. Yeah, you'll see. Uh, if you take the right kind of pills, you see him too. <laughs> Is he Eat muted? The, 
No, I think he just held up some Eclipse gum. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, he held up something. Oh, I see what he held up. Oh. Not driving, though. No. 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 It, it, Don, if you were there, you would have got one of these. He's. You well, can't read it. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I got a shithead of the year award. So. <laughs> yeah, they were. It was Rick was handing those out, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He was. I, I know my wife keeps nominating me. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody buy the Avada two yet? Not me. No, it no. Looks neat. no. Yeah, see, I, think, I know some people have. Uh, trying to remember who I've seen has bought it already. Oh, I saw uh, Captain Joe. He just went and picked Captain one. Captain Joe up. bought it this morning. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And uh, Johnny, Johnny Drone Buyer, he uh, he hit the button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, after all the money I spent on going to Florida, I'm not oh, buying anything. God. You see what you see what Warren said. <laughs> Mm -mm. Is that a butt plug? Was that a butt plug? <laughs> um, everything's a butt plug if you're adventurous enough. <laughs> Do you know the difference uh, between a brown dozer and a shithead? No. Depth perception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That was uh, that was quite a trip. I think everybody had a trip. What did you do on the weekend, Brett? What did I do this weekend? I watched uh, Uncle Bill's live stream pretty much, and that was about it. Yeah? Yeah. I just participated I, vicariously through all y'all. I haven't watched it yet. I was. When are you going to come, Brett? I, hopefully you, maybe this this coming year. You know, we'll see. I got more, you more and Don? Don's coming, coming too? Last I can't Don make any promises, man. man. <laughs> Don, yeah, Don is no longer gainfully employed. He's scrambling for every dollar he gets. That's me. Well, Don, you can go squat at uh, at Uncle Bill's house. That's that's what uh, Ken Heron or Ken uh, Ken uh, place it here. Yeah, yeah, Ken Hoffbauer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He just uh, parked his RV in uh, <laughs> in Bill's and hooked up to thirty amps of power and. <laughs> He just went by my place just a few uh, about two hours ago. He, he oh, didn't stop. He just uh, I told him I'd wave at him as he went by. So <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I just figure I just stay where I'm at, and eventually everybody will come through where I'm at. <laughs> eventually. Well, well, maybe if I drive down, I'll stop. But Missouri's not on the way to Florida, is it? No. 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 Because we do, nope. uh, we do Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, then somebody else, and you're then doing the east side. You're doing the east side of Tennessee, and then Georgia. Yeah, I come yep. down I I seventy five. Brett, is that a new cut? It, is. it looks it looks relatively fresh. Pretty fresh. Did it this week. Yeah, I, I was got a huge angle on it, so it's like uh, I almost want to take the whole thing off. But well, I I'm starting to look like a freaking muppet here with this hair, so I'm I'm needing to do something with it. So what do you think, Kate? Bye. Just tease it off the sides <laughs> just a little bit. If you could just like spruce it and just like you know just make it happen, just make it pop, just bring it out, just <laughs> make it sizzle. Come on, just make it sizzle. Just yeah. pop, pop, pop. Just stick those fingers in the outlet. No, I'm, it's starting to drive me nuts, especially along through here. I don't mind the top so much, but yeah, it's probably holding. Hey, just I like how short sure you have yours on the side. Still, you still I'm, I'm going to show my wife a picture of you and see if she wants that. This, yeah. You still got this my anti-man. I'm bald here. <laughs> Jimbo my, shirts my back on the room. It's a, no, Brett, you're not going. You're not balding back there. Your 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 mohawk is just hyphenated. There you go. It's not hyphenated. <laughs> yeah, it's like an extreme widow's peak, is what I think of it as. So you got some decent weather in uh, 
Minnesota. Oh, it's some really neat clouds out here. I'll give you a peek. I'm going to go fly that right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that. What is that? That's not a lighthouse. That's uh, they call it the witch's tower or witch's okay. hat. So it, it's a on top of a silo. I think it's a water tower or it was a water tower at one point. Yeah, okay. which is which is that water tower. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to fly it with? Just the mini three. Uh, okay. Is that a solar panel on top? That's the roof. It's got a really cool green roofy thing. No, it looked like a solar panel on top of your drone. Oh, the drone. Yeah, it's a solar it's panel. Velcro. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get <laughs> yeah, I get an extra like 30 seconds from it. Nice. Cool. Very good. Yeah, yeah. He still does that of a couple calculators from 1980. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's playing a Casio. <laughs> Remember well, that's Casio? So I, my, that's so I can put my firehouse light on there. There you go. Those are good lights. Yeah, yeah. If you use one of those, uh, if you use one of those, you can fly during the eclipse and not hit a tree. This is true. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then if I dangle my Idaho quadcopter quadcopter pin, I can like see it twinkle. So it's all good. Just dangle I have an the Idaho. Bottom. I have an dangle. Idaho quadcopter sticker. Nice. I got. I got a chip. I got a rock. <laughs> Can you see that? But there you go. There's the chip. Oh jeez. And there's the uh, the Vegas like, thing. The Vegas meetup. Yeah, these chip. are all toys that you guys got at the Florida meetup. Yeah. 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 Got, uh, yeah I, I think of poor old Paul. You know, I think he kept asking, "Did did we get our pins?" Yeah, I got the pen. Hold on. Wait. Got my, there's my yeah. auto sticker. So, I got the pen still in the box. And now we got Brad, Brad made these, so uh, oh, I missed that one. That Are you in the one of these? You didn't get a, a fidget. I got a. Oh, hey, that's the. Yeah, that's the same one. And I got. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lee Beesing left his. Uh, he was checking into the hotel. And left his uh, big Toyota parked out front, and uh, uh, Scott and I no. tagged him. We yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I was I was being taught how to tag vehicles. Yeah, yeah. And there's the uh, the Calgary drone group because uh, Lauren was there with Tom. Was it Tom? Uh, no, Lonnie. Lonnie. Yeah. Yes. And there's uh, Aim Aerials, and. Hey, that's it. I got a bunch of business cards. Too. Oh, I'm just reading up through the chat where you're jacking with me, Brett. Okay. Oh, and there was a yellow rose drones. Yeah, I knew. I knew I had to take off the indie filter. I just, I got mesmerized. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and there was uh, lots of these. Oh yeah. Oh wow! How'd you get those, Gary? Uh, some guy. You know the guy who makes them. Some guy in China sent them. So that's, that's what I've been doing today. So, you know, we haven't done in a while. I got, Okay, I showed you all those stickers. I'm going to give them all away. So Yay! <clears throat> I'm putting over here in the comments. No, not in the comments. In the private chat. I'm putting in a number. Oh, so I can't enter? Not if, not if you read the private chat. What if I promise I didn't read it? Okay. Okay. Number between one and fifty. Stick them in the in the chat. And uh, oh, and Mike Hill, you have to send me your address so I can send you the stickers from the last show. So you'll even get a better. Oh, hold on. There's more. Wait. wait there's more. Ooh. Got to open up the. I see it. I see the number. Steve Hill. Who? Steve Knowles. Okay. Wait, that's, a, that's a famous number. Yeah. There you go. Oh, hold on. I got to get the right chat. Ooh. How come I can't? 
now I don't see it. Anyway, Steve Knowles. It's near the top. It's almost at the top. Okay. Steve Knowles, send me your address, and uh, I'm going to throw in these two stickers from Dewey. One's in Irish and one's in English. So I'll throw <laughs> those in too. What else have I got? Oh, somebody else booped. Oh, that's that's my Don, Don just me, fell out. You fell out and you came back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so Steve Knowles wins. I'm writing that down somewhere. I don't have a pen. We, we got teach we got to teach Ronnie how to do the raffle and make sure he uh, reads the right ticket next year. <laughs> Steve Knowles. It wasn't three point one four one five nine. No. No, we don't accept pi as a real number. Birds aren't real, and pie isn't the number. Pie is dessert. So I couldn't find a pen, but I got one in the box. So. Stick that up there. All right. So that's out of the way. You're you're exactly right, Ronnie. You'll ne we'll never let you forget. <laughs> So you only got one electric garage door opener? Hmm? I only see one motor on the ceiling for your garage door opener. The other one doesn't open? Oh. Well, there's a bracket in the middle with oh that okay, never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought that was okay. That was high yeah, class. That, high class. That one? Yeah. And that one. Yeah, so that's another thing I got to get us a security camera. When we were away and my daughter was home, out in the middle of the country, nowhere, with no street lights, some guy comes knocking on the door, wants to come in and charge his cell phone. It's like oh, that's a scene in Clockwork Orange, isn't it? Yeah. So she tells yeah. him to, she tells him to go away. He goes away and comes back. So she decides to phone the police non-emergency number and gets on the phone with us, right? And my wife... Non-emergency? Yeah, non-emergency number. You answered the non-emergency number? Well, she phoned the non-emergency number, and then and then she called my wife and told her about what was going on. To you. Yeah. So Vicky I've said... I've seen the movie The Others, and that's not non-emergency. I know what happened. Vicky Pretty said... Sure they're, they're standing outside the house with sheep and pig masks on. Vicky said, Gary, you need to show her some movies. Vicky told her, call 911, right? So they get off the phone, and... Uh, Stevie called back and she said the cops are already here. I guess they thought it was an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> but then they wouldn't tell her anything about what happened other than the, the guy wasn't coming back. <laughs> Non-emergency, 199. Yeah, he's not coming back. <laughs> so, Is that the doom buggy? Yeah, I'm uh, wiring up tonight. Finishing the wiring, and I'm going to right now cut out the carpet around the shift tube or around the shift knob. So I'm just marking up the carpet with some chalk. We were in Florida, and Jim, or not Jim, Bill Renane was backing up his truck, and I ran out behind the truck and was going like this, and he went, Oh, so you saw the video where I installed that. I go, Oh, yeah, all nine <laughs> hours of it. <laughs> <laughs> nine hours of car repair <laughs> anyway um we should probably um we should probably get off the show now um that way people can get a get a drink and stuff before they uh tune into ray kelly who's coming on right after us oh ray Ke oh, okay that's right yeah. change the show no he's yeah. And uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, you sure about that, Gary? I'm not sure he's having a show today. I know he had a morning show today. Oh, did he? And I almost think he was saying he wasn't going to be on, he was in here earlier. But he had a show, I don't know, nine, ten o'clock this morning. He had Steve, uh, the maple syrup guy there, Steve. Oh, I can't remember Steve's last name. <laughs> We won maple syrup. Were you there when we won the maple syrup? Yeah. 
<laughs> Bo shirt, Bo shirt, Bo shirt, and I chugged the bottle. <laughs> we, my wife came back and she said, "Where's my maple syrup?" And I gave her the empty bottle. She said, "Where'd that go?" I said, "We drank it." <laughs> Steve Jennis. Okay, so you brought down a bottle of rum. Yeah, and drank maple syrup. Yeah. No, we. Well, no. Oh, he, he was drinking everything. I was drinking everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Friday night was a wreck. But <laughs> he was he was handing empty bottles back to everybody. <laughs> I uh, I had to test drive the rum before we went to sticks. Yeah. So I had about three of them there, and I had four or five at sticks, and then I got back, and we had the rest of the rum. So. Um, <laughs> was difficult waking up Saturday. <laughs> I was going to say, how long did you guys stay out there? I think I gave up on you about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Oh, I don't think I was that late. I think I was maybe 8 or 8.30, 9 o'clock maybe. Really? That early? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they said the thing was running from 5 till 8. So. Okay. So I figured we'd, you know, I didn't want to wear out my welcome, you know. And, <laughs> oh, and. <laughs> We had that little Mustang convertible, and we gave Herman and Lawrence a ride. So there's Vicky and I and Herman and Lawrence in a Mustang convertible. <laughs> <laughs> it was cozy. <laughs> the top up? What's that? With the top up? Oh, no, God, no. No, we had to put the top down. We couldn't have fit us all in with the top. Yeah, I was going to say, those guys in the back. Up. But, you know, the so top down. Yeah. The top Coach down. Coach saying he left at nine thirty. Okay, yeah. I don't know if he left before me or after, but uh, well, we must have left about nine o'clock then. Yeah. Oh, did we get Chick Fil A? Jim got Chick Fil A. Vicky and I stopped at Chick Fil A on the way to Fort Lauderdale, and we realized it was takeout only. Chick Fil A is only takeout. They don't have any eat in. No, yeah, no, they have eat in. Uh, must have been at that location, but uh, no, we man, they, the, the, the inside of restaurants just as busy as outside of restaurants, yeah. No, there was no way to get in because the it was all the well, way around the building. Well, no, you can go in, you can actually go in, yeah. But yes, you're right, they usually have two lanes and they usually do go all the way around the building, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> you just have to weave it through the traffic to get inside to go, yeah. Yeah, so, we we couldn't uh, we couldn't find a way in, so we went next door to Mickey D's. <laughs> Jerry Bauer is saying that uh, Ray is not on tonight. Oh, okay, okay, so we can we can flesh out the hour then. That's good. <laughs> the bottle was gone by nine thirty. Okay, the bottle was gone. Yeah, he wasn't gone, but the bottle the bottle was gone by nine thirty. Holy. Heck. So Ronnie is saying, actually, uh, some of the Chick Fil A's are only take out, and some of them are only hmm. eat in. Okay, I've never heard of that. Yeah, well, ours are both. Yeah, well, the one we were at, I think, was takeout only because it was cars on four sides, you know. So I think if you, I guess we could have ordered uh, Uber Eats or something, right? Except, uh, except we didn't have a place we weren't staying anywhere. <laughs> Could you deliver it to the silver Mustang in the parking lot next to, <laughs> you know, but that was the whole thing. We didn't want to sit in the car and eat. Right. I don't know. That's just uh, me. That's Phil, just my thing. Phil Koshet saying the bottle was gone by nine 30. Okay. So yeah. I guess that's why the party broke up. Yeah. And he got to bed by around 1130. Uh, we got, we got tossed out of the pool a couple nights at 10. Oh, really? Yeah. They, they said, you can't stay here. You got to go somewhere else. But you see that the smokers and the vapor guys were outside. And either, either you were one of the two people sitting on that little tiny bench or else you came over to the secret spot. And, uh, and we had, we had cool. tables over there and chairs and yeah, over by the pool. So, and, uh, hmm. And Ray Kelly was kind of my swim, swimming buddy. Him and Jordy. Jordy and I were in the pool a lot together. So, you know. Um, and my so pool, Ray went swimming too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple times. Yeah. A couple times. 
my the ice is off my pool now, so we're uh, gonna start getting ready to to get the pool set up for the summer. So we should be swimming by mid May. It should hit uh, sixty five degrees in the water by about the middle of May. So you know, you know, the, if the ice is off it, you swim in it, right? If the mm -hmm. ice is on it, if the ice is on it, you call Lambo. He comes over and cleans it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 70 degrees in the pool, cold. <clears throat> well, we don't heat the pool, so it never gets over about 70, 75. You know. Yeah, like my uncle's pool. It's always cold. But it's right next yeah. to the hot tub, which is 105. So you 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 get the good you get the good chill going and then you jump into the hot tub. And then when you're in the hot tub, you get the heat up, right? And you jump back in the in the pool and it's it feels warm because there's like a, a coating of hot water on your skin right yeah. yeah an aneurysm roulette or roulette yeah yeah yeah, yeah. have a little heart attack you know and a, you know a little a little heart attack never killed anybody it's the big ones that get you right yeah gary i i'm not opposed to getting a stroke in the pool in, in the hot tub but different kind of stroke <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah Get off on that one. <laughs> oh. don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. No, it was. I, uh, I offended Brett. Yeah. He's going to leave. It was, his sensibilities, he's shocked to his core. <laughs> I'm just waiting for some, some blue. There's too much gray right now. Yeah. If either of you guys ever get a chance to go to Florida for that meetup, do it. It's, oh, it's. Sure. It's um, it's completely different than seeing people online. Everybody's three D. You know, mm -hmm. you can walk you can walk around behind them and see what the other side looks like. All right, you know? and uh, you know we're all the same height online, but there's little guys and then there's big guys. You, you know, you'd be surprised at the size of some of these guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, was, Art seven foot tall. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, where he sits in front of that grand piano. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, it was it was a good time. It oh, sure was. If <laughs> <laughs> Philip Koshat's never going to let me down, I I went to sit down on the edge of the pool. I got a little busy and I kind of kind of laid down on the pool deck. He said, "Ooh, that's a that's a ten on the entry." <laughs> 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 oh boy no it was it was a good time it was a good time and and the fishing trip if uh if you don't have heavy seas it's not a bad trip <laughs> but if uh, you can go to stay at that hampton inn because that's where a lot of the fun is as well oh god and uh what was that little drone that johnny was flying around in the lobby uh potensic it's a 20 dollar drone yeah, I looked it up here. It was like ninety bucks in Canada. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, thing was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little drone. It was about that big. I mean, it really wasn't big at all. And he was flying it all around the hotel and stuff. So yeah, yeah. No, it was great. And lots of uh, avadas flying through the underneath the the the, the, the drive through. Yeah. What do, you, what do you call that? The, the the, the, the little driver porter, canopy sort of a, yeah canopy portico thing you know so feel and but we didn't have any music in the parking lot dennis wasn't there so that's you know, right yeah but uh but but a good time anyway good time was having yeah, rodney right. did his uh sun sunrise in the parking lot yeah oh and, did he uh, yeah, and Alex mm -hmm. was out there. Alex was out flying at the same time. He was out there as yep, well. Yeah, I was up for the sunrise. Yeah, I saw Alex's photo of the hotel at sunrise with the sun right. the sun coming up over the over the. Matter of fact, he had a shot down on Rodney, basically while he was doing it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Oh, and Carolina Air Shots has joined us. Jeff from Carolina Air Shots. Oh, and there's Herman. Herm Herman's here exactly an hour after we start. 
So no, he's been in there. Herman? He's, yeah, he's been in there for quite some time. Oh, okay. No, I saw I saw Lawrence was in. Uh, he came in right after Lawrence. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Herman. <laughs> Miss you, buddy. <laughs> we had we had a good time. We had a good time. That was that was really good. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for kindly dropping in. We'll uh, we'll do this again in two weeks. Maybe I'll book a guest. I think I've got some cards. I think uh, Steve Gardner maybe next time from Drone Seekers International. You've got their shirt on, don't you? I got a shirt on, and uh, there's their sticker. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta get my case over here. How many drone boxes are back there? Drones, drone sticker, and uh, placed place it here. I placed, it, I placed it there. Yeah. <laughs> How many drone boxes? Yeah. Three. There's three? three three Air 2S boxes. Oh. Really? Three? Why three? I mean, I know one of them was stolen. They, did, they was, didn't steal the box? First one was stolen. Second one got ran over by a pickup truck. And the third one is the replacement. So. Hey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, first one was stolen. I had to sell my motorcycle. The second one was Care Refresh. You're you're allowed to have it run over by a pickup truck, and they'll cover you. So <laughs> there you go. Uh oh, stick shift is out. Nope. Yep, no it's shift. going back in. No shifty for you. Yep, it's it's going it's going back in. There you go. Two hands, Don. Two hands. Yep. <laughs> I need I need three hands. And that's a long linkage back to the transmission too, isn't it? No. It's about uh two foot. This is a shortened pan too. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. See I had a I had a beetle and kind of make sure that was lubricated. Oh, All right. I need so Steve Knowles won the thing. He wants me to send the stickers to art. So We'll uh, get in touch with Art Carlson. I think I've got his return address from when he sent me uh, uh, toffee before he stopped sending it to uh, <laughs> before he stopped sending it outside the United States because he found out it was pretty expensive to send it to me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for. Oh Jesus! You know what? I got to queue up the outro, oh, no. but I didn't do an outro for today's show. No, what are we gonna do? Hmm. We're, stuck, we're stuck here. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna have to stay yeah. until we I have to stay here until show. he figures it out, Brett. Hold <laughs> on now. Date modified. Where to fly? Small photos in touch. Come on, Gary, let Brett go. Oh, for God's sakes! What happened to the outro? There is an outro somewhere. In there's the intro. There's the sounds. What the hell? What happens when I don't uh, organize my... Uh, what's it called? It's called InTouch Outro. InTouch PNG. Intro. Like. PNG. Sleeman. Okay, well, we're just going to end the show without an outro. <laughs> What's it called? Doesn't seem right. Beats me. No, no, it's not right. Hold on. We could, like, join hands and sing Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Uh-oh. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. I could just play the, in the intro over again. That wouldn't be right, though, would it? That would confuse people. You just play it in reverse? <laughs> yeah, play it backwards. <laughs> What's going on? Where did it go? Oh, no, it's raining. Oh, no. Now you can't oh. fly. Oh, man. What a bummer. Gary, you kept him here too long. Now he can't fly. You oh. made him miss his window. It's all your fault, Gary. Okay. Look, at his, look at the sad, disappointed look on Brett's face. <laughs> Hold on. 
It's, it's like he went to Disneyland and they turned out to be closed for the day. Raindrops. Mind outro. Raindrops. Oh. And wind. We got five inches this morning. Five inches. That's what she said. Outro, outro maker. <laughs> how the hell did I? How the hell did I delete my outro? That was silly. Touch three minute timer, date modified. Hey, Greg, uh, CT Pirate. All right. Oh, my. We got to meet Greg there. All right. We're gonna, we're just going to end it. We're already over time anyway. I'm, I'm having to pay you guys time and a half. You got to make uh, CT Pirate a uh, moderator. Who? Oh, yeah, right. I mean, yeah, yeah. That is moderator. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, thank you everybody for coming on, and uh, thank you everybody for joining in the chat. I can see we've got. Uh, let's see. We got to go go here and do that and do this. Hey, everybody, hit that like button before you leave. Yeah, we got 19 likes. We need one more. I'd like to have it nice and even. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. And uh, we'll Bye. see you next time on In Touch. In Touch.